Okay, I think we are good to start with the session. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for this today's session. I know it's a crazy time to all of you all. I, as I understand, like you have a situation test. So, first of all, congratulations to everyone. You have been shortlisted for the situation test. A quick introduction uh, so that we don't waste a lot of time. My name is Priyanka. I'm manager in admission and marketing at Rishihut University. So Rishihut is India's first and only impact university. And we are trying to ensure that our students, whether uh, they are from a school of creativity, when students are pursuing programs in design, programs in you know, visual arts, or students from entrepreneurship, for any of these particular fields, they become leaders who can create an impact with their own particular field. I think one thing is common that everyone is out here is the design aspirant. So guys, I really want this session to be an interactive session. So you can switch on your cameras, let us see your beautiful faces and then we can interact with you all as well. So yes, please, you can have your cameras on and put your mics off. Today we have Professor Manika Valia. She's a dean in the School of Creativity with us, and she will take you through the topic of on how to crack situation test. And we will also touch base some of the tips and tricks that you need to keep in your mind. Because yes, you <laughs> will be appearing in the situation test soon. So keep those things in your mind as well so that it will help you. So this has to be interactive. The more you have questions, the more you can take benefit of this entire session. So without wasting anyone else time i will ask manika ma'am to you know start with your session and then post she has done with their uh, presentation and will take some questions and if in between if you have any doubts any questions you want to ask something you can definitely put it in the chat box and we will again accordingly take it off so manika ma'am over to you thank you priyanka guys just told it with my throat i really have a bad throat with this ongoing flu and try to do my best and uh, try to make it more interactive rather than just giving you a lecture. Okay, so as uh, I was briefed that you all have cleared your DAT and you are moving towards your situational test. Heartiest congratulations. So good design aspirants we have here. Uh, why did you all, am I audible to all of you? Is it loud and clear? If it is loud and clear, please type Y in the chat box. If it is not clear, my you cannot hear my voice or you cannot hear, understand me, just type no or N. Quickly, quickly, one minute. Okay, so I think everybody's saying yes. Okay, thank you for that. All right, so now what we are doing today is that we are taking you towards the journey of how do you crack and be successful for your situational test and thereby get into the design world. You know, So your journey is about to begin, okay? This journey is going to be very, very creative, very, very full of curiosity, full of exploration. Right. So don't be afraid of it. OK. Secondly, what what children of your age, when they enter into the design world, they think is that design is like, you know, a very glamorous, uh, a very posh kind of uh, domain. Yes, it is. Indeed, it is. There's no doubt that it is not. It is. You are entering into the most uh, glamorous most uh, luxurious kind of a domain. But believe me, students, before you actually be there, you know, you have to get into a lot of hard work, lot of uh, dirtying your hands. When I say dirtying your hands, what do I mean is that there would be uh, cases and there would be situations where you all will be working with the grassroots people. You'll be working in workshops. 
you'll be handling material, you'll be understanding how a carpenter works, to understanding how metallurgy works, of how you make a cast, to how you know if you are getting into fashion, then how a dyer actually dyes a yarn or a fabric, how an embroider puts up into that embroidery khaka. So you actually have to get there at the grassroot and see how people behave before you climb up the ladder of actually being a very successful designer. All right. So let me just share my screen and start talking to you all. Priyanka, do, you, do I have the right to share my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Please let me know if you all can see my screen. Okay, Disha is saying yes. Is everybody able to see my screen? <coughs> okay. So this is all about, you know, how to successfully crack a studio or a situational test. I've tried to incorporate few slides, you know, I'm sure you all will be able to crack the situational test, which Lyft calls it situational and NID calls it a studio. So when we are talking about, you know, uh, how do we get there? We are actually talking of how the design journey starts, right? So when a design journey starts and you are about to get into the situational test, please remember students that you should have the courage, you know, you should dare to dream, become dreamers, right? When you are about to become dreamer, you start dreaming, then only your imagination is very sound. The new ideas start coming in. You don't have to copy, right? So original ideas, kaise aayenge? when you start dreaming, Okay, start thinking, start thinking. Give yourself time to think, to look back, to see around, to immediate environment, the habitat in which you are living. Maybe you are walking down onto a street for an evening walk and you see, you know, a bird sitting, a bird just flying by. Or maybe there's just a dog which is crossing the road. Maybe there's a mother who's taking a stroller with a little baby. See and try to observe and then think about it. That why is it happening? How is it happening? What is the feeling these people are going to? And they get into a debate mode. Debate mode, I'm not saying like how you used to have it into your school that there is a person who's in favor of an opposition and there's a person who stands against the proposal. No, debate I mean is like, say for example, you have seen a mother taking a stroller, right? A pram in which a baby is sitting. Start thinking, start imagining, talk to yourself, think about it, start talking about it with your friends, with yourself, with your parents, with your siblings, that agar ye pram aise nahi hoti, to kaise hoti? correct? If there are four wheels or eight wheels attached to the pram, there's a seat which can be foldable. There's a thing which is like a waterproof. There's ample of space for a mother to carry the stuff, a feeder, a milk bottle, a napkin, a wet wipe and whatever, right? A mosquito repellent. What all can be more added? So start thinking on those lines and you will start debating and thinking only when you will have a good idea to dream, to think, and thereby to observe. Ask questions, as I told you. If what you are seeing is not like this, then what is the solution? Is the pram where the mother is taking that little child, is it okay? Or is there a problem which you could fill or you can find a solution through your design instinct or your design skills? Okay, so start asking questions. Always remember students, it's not only again, I'm stressing for your situational test, but when you start your creative journey, 
design is always about asking questions. In design, there is nothing right or wrong. Okay. When I say this, what do I mean? Probably we are here sitting onto this virtual platform. Something is going in my mind. Okay. And I say, I have this iPhone and this iPhone is, you know, okay. And this cover, which I have, is pretty okay, which is protecting my phone. It is giving some kind of a color. It has some kind of a thing that I'm easily holding it, you know, but there could be the other perception of the phone too, which is not wrong. Probably the participants who are here, the students who are here, the 18 of us, there could be 18 different perceptions for the same smartphone. So there's nothing wrong in it, okay? Design is the only field where everything is taken positively. Nothing is right, nothing is wrong, but there's a design process on which you all have to work on, right? We are individual different. We are individual people. Individual differences are bound to happen. The way I am thinking, the way you are thinking will be different. And that's very natural. You can't think like how I think. I can't think the way you are thinking. So that does not mean that I am correct or you are wrong or you are correct or I am wrong. No, these are just the individual differences. So be open to listen and understand and think about those. Okay. Be very, very... Uh, very, very optimistic and very, very positive in case if you make a mistake. Because till the time as designers, if you will not make a mistake, you will not give a perfect solution. Now, when I say a perfect solution, it could be a product, it could be a fashion collection, it could be fashion communication, it could be visual communication, it could be something to do with game design, it could be something to do with your accessory, could be anything, the complete look and feel, the form, the function, the aesthetics, could be anything under the sky. So be very positive in case there's something wrong, in case you've made a mistake. And mistake, again, I will say there's nothing right and wrong. Mistake in the sense as if what you expected, what you did your brainstorming to come to that ideation mode and you did not achieve it, perfectly okay. Go back to your research, go back to the kind of uh, brainstorming you did, think about the sketches, what you've done, and then again, relook and improvise, right? So be open. This, these are the five key takes which you as a designer should learn thoroughly, okay? Now a design, and this is again, you know, I'll tell you something about myself. I'm a NIFT graduate and I go back to early 80s, right? I belong to that era where there was no internet. Everything was done manually from sketching to forecasting to understanding trends to do garment construction to embroideries to weaving the fabric. Everything under the sky was manual. There was no internet. There was no connectivity, the global exposure and all that. Everything was like, you know, a plan. But when I went to London, there were, where I did my post-graduation, I did my post-graduation from University of Arts London, from London College of Fashion. There I came to know that in India, you know, how the design is looked up into is at a very, very superficial level, right? When I say very superficial level means that design is basically all about either giving aesthetics, a beautification, or it is about creating a form or giving some functionality. But design, in case you all have to be successful, and children in today's time, when technology has become prime, when artificial intelligence has taken the front seat, right? I'm sure you all have enhanced to uh, chat GPT and all these kind of things where your Instagram and your Snapchat and your Everything are, you know, changing their filters and getting into your so many other kind of applications where technology has taken the front seat, right? The world is just a click away. What design should be so that you all are extremely successful and earning 
a handsome amount for yourself, whether you are working as designers, you open up your studios, you work as your, your global people are working with you. you know? So that is how a design should also have an understanding of technology. Right. Design should also be about society and culture, society and culture in the sense that if you go to Italy, right, in Italy, there's too much of stress about manufacturing. They don't give too much importance on how and what and why it's manufacturing and making it beautiful. When you go towards say, Japan, towards the other Pacific countries, there's a lot of aesthetics, you know, fineness that give too much of attention to detailing. But when you come towards the Western side, the, the UK side, you know, there's aesthetics, there's forms, and there's an amalgamation, the combination. Okay. So society and culture also plays a very, very important role when you are talking about some great design. I'm not talking about good design. I'm going a step forward, which I expect you all to do, which is great design. Okay. Third, we've discussed is all about imagination. So you all have to dare to dream, think, ask questions, make mistakes, which we've just discussed. Another important very aspect is about the environment. Now, environment does not mean that you are only talking about sustainability. Yes, sustainability is the prime focus. The kind of material you will pick for yourself, the kind of techniques you will put to process that material. You will talk about the biodegradability, you know, whether that material is sustainable. But your environment also goes up to your living environment, the habitat, right? You have to consider about, say, for example, if you are taking a banana. Now, how many of you, I'm sure you all know that banana fruit, the husk of the banana tree can be converted into a fabric, right? So thereby your innovation happens. Once the fruit from the banana tree is taken, the husk is a waste, the tree trunk, right? It's the first soft hai banana tree. Now the tree trunk is peeled, is processed, and there are two types of fibers or the fabrics which can come out. One is a softer fabric, which is like almost silk. It's not silk, but it's like silk. And second, which is from the outer layer, which is a husky thing, like jute, you know, which can be used as doormats, as your bags, you know, which are for a rough kind of use kind of uh, uh, accessories. So environment also means this. Environment also means that how your production or how your design or how your manufacturing will also give livelihood or will also give some job or some income to the people who are working. So that way you also have to be very, very considerate about the environment. Another important thing is legislation. You have to abide to the global policies. You have to abide to your country's policies. And thereby, you know, you have to stick to the financial policies. You have to stick to the exports and imports, and all this. Thing. Now, the other important thing is utility and function and the supply and cost along with marketing. So to make a great design, these are the parameters which you all have to learn and understand because design is not about good or bad. In case you all have to be successful, this is a 360 degree angle which you all have to study. All right. Now taking you to the, can we mute uh, people? There are some disturbances. So now taking you towards the studio test for which you all are preparing. Now a studio test, why a studio test? You already have cleared your prelims and now there is a studio test. So what a NIFT or NID will expect from your situational test and a studio test is that majority there are these three opportunities for you that they want to test your creative ability
Okay, so now when we are talking about, you know, how do we prepare for our studio test or the situational test. So what is the objective of putting you into a situational test is basically once you have finished your prelims, they want to check your creative ability. Now, how do they check their creative ability is by giving you a time frame, by giving you a restriction of time that this is the time given to you and now show us how creative you are, okay? So this is like a great opportunity for you all to perform even better than what you did in your prelims. And then the challenge is, that challenge is that there is no set pattern. So maybe you can look into the past five to 10 years of question papers, but believe you, uh, this will be, again, there would be some, some uh, questions which which will come to you as a surprise. So there is no set, there is no set expectation you will be assessed or how you will be evaluated. But primarily through the check your creative ability. Now, how do Now, how do you start this thing is try to handle your material, right? Material handling is very, very, they usually give you the linear material, which are like those ice cream sticks, some wires, maybe some straws, you know, these kind of jute wires, something like this, they always give you. They give you some paper, okay? They would give you some thermocol or oasis block or some styrofoam or some uh, your clay kind of material. These are the materials which you will always see. Now, how do you handle the material is again, you know, you have to think of the ways in which you can come out with something, some technique which is using all your sensory experiences. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, supposingly the basic thing, if I give you a wire, which I'll show you some examples, if I give you a wire, immediately you will either start braiding it or you will start making spirals out of it or you will start twisting it. But how about, you know, doing something with the wire where you can actually hear there's a sound coming, right? When you move it, there's a sound coming. Or you change the property of that material. In this case, you change a property of the material where there is something like a spring kind of an effect, you know? So this is what they want to see, that how you are handling the material. This point, I will make it more clearer once I take you to the other slides. Now, second important point to consider is also about the narrative the kind of story you want to tell by using that material. They'll give you some visuals, which are basically the TATs. This is a thematic appreciation test. And you have to come out with a narration, a story, right? Where you have to tell them what others cannot see. And that's how they judge your creative ability. There could be some audiovisual part, and there is also some part where you are developing either a character or you are doing some kind of a modeling. And at times, there could be a group activity. Now, when you are talking about these points, you have to be very, very clear about these particular aspects. Now, first is definitely you have to do the space visualization. Whatever the space is or whatever the problem what they have given you, you have to visualize beforehand before you start working on to it, okay? You have to talk about the positive negative. You have to talk about forefront and back background. You have to think, you know, in the perspective. You have to think from various various dimensions, and then you have to visualize before you actually start developing a 2D into a 3D form. 
then innovation and creativity used to be given for composition of elements, basically balance, uh, rhythm, you know, balance plays a very important role. Rhythm will also be, if there's a linear material, how you could foreplay with just lines, you know, that becomes like an element of design. How would you like to work with line and use a principle of balance? That is also very important. Another important part is the color scheme. Okay, now color scheme, think very wisely. I'm sure when you were taking your coaching classes or when you were preparing for your prelims, you have undergone those color theories and color schemes. So be very, very particular. Be very, very sensitive to the kind of problem you are understanding. Say, for example, you are talking about, you know, uh, a situation is given where you have to, you know, do something for, say, an adolescent age group anything right now for that adolescent age group what kind of colors will you choose and why will you choose so again that why will lead to your narrative the storytelling okay so vibrancy because they're full of energy what is the color psychology what are the colors which are representative or symbolic to the the word energy right so all those things you have to start studying time is very less you know but be there then the construction skills. Now, construction skills, as I told you, right, as I gave you this example of wire, the construction skills would be not only doing the regular, go a step forward, tell them something which does not exist. Now, now say, for example, I gave you that you are twisting a wire. So, okay, we have twist to kar liya. Okay, so we have created something. But can that twisting can have some little sound when you rattle it, okay? When you move it, can, when you shake it, can that twisting give you a little sound? So that will give you a brownie point, right? Supposing if there's a wire, you make a spiral out of it. Can you pull up that little spiral? Spiral, you know, you can make it into a concentric circle where the wire becomes like, you know, a spring, that will give you another brownie point. So you have to think beyond, you know, what is ordinary. So understand the material, understand the properties, understand their chemical properties, understand their technical. Probably if they've given you something to do with an outdoor space and the kind of material you have, which material would be best you know, for the outdoor space? Think about it, think hard and then talk about it. Okay, then how you will finish the model, finishing, give some time, do your time management. Don't only restrict yourself towards making, making. Finishing and presentation will also be very very important and the, the the assessment the parameter trust me even i at times are into the panel of selection of the students my focus in how in that limited time you have developed it but at the same time you have finished it so the finishing and the presentation it matters a lot use your creativity right understand the properties of the material which i have just spoken about how will material behave when you are combining the two mat all hard material but say supposedly if they give you a material, okay how would you use the two how would you combine it that's how how we want to see understanding the situation or the question which is given to you and then choose the material if they are not specifying that this is the material you have to use right now i just told you if it is an outdoor space then what kind of material you will choose you have to think in an outdoor space there will be sunlight there will be wind there would be breeze there would be humidity there would be rain there would be moisture there would be people touching it you know there are so many you have to come together think about it and then come to a final decision Understand principles, okay, this is we've just discussed. Try to create forms that best fit a solution. 
तो कैसे आप एक नया फॉर्म निकालेंगे जैसे आपको बोला गया मान लीजिए केयर सो वेन यू गिव इन दिस वर्ड से केयर वॉट इमीजिएटली कम्स टू योर माइंड फॉर मी मदर कम्स टू माई माइंड सो a mother gives you a complete you know uh, selfless care to its child you know other word mother right so you see now how the story is getting built now mother ko aap ek form mein kaise leke aayenge koi bolega hum ek womb banayenge usme fetus show karenge koi bolega there's a big hand and there's a small hand somebody would say there's a heart in between a heart there's another small heart you know so that's how you have to start abstracting the form you have to start generating the form and try to start start doing that you know because that really matters try to be sustainable and with less carbon footprint so whatever description you will write of using the material or using making some poster or you know writing a story out of it try to have that environment angle what i discussed try to see that you know by doing this you are also providing livelihood to some people try to see that the animals or the trees or the flora and fauna of that habitat is not disrupted try to put and be sensitive to these points right now taking you forward another very interesting area is you know to be successful is, is supposedly you are working with some some material and you've been given a question where you have to make a toy can that toy have a little you know reflection of uh, indian craft okay how many of you have heard of jahuba dolls now these jahuba dolls are in madhya pradesh this is a craft okay can that toy be a reflection of something which has been done in say chittorgarh the wooden toys right can that inspiration come from that heritage which we have again a brownie point try to relate it leave the other question is or maybe you know a thing just came into now back teaching how sustainable you know taking out the product what do you do with that package think about a, a wood a clay a jute you know to type right clay a clay with clay try to mold clay but again clay is very fragile how would you reinforce clay so can you give them a thing clay because clay is also taken as an insulating one material now to give that, that more insulation right taking it again to one of the grassroots innovations the cool was mitti cool was a shit so start getting into these you know मैम यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल बेटर नाउ प्रियंका Not exactly. Yes, my screen visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 Great. So basically, you know how you will combine the material to come out with the most innovative approach and the most innovative property of that material is what we want. to see all right
So paper, few years to start working, maybe you can label and with paper you would like to say dimensional and then we don't want to use any adhesive or you, you come out with a structure, maybe thermocol, again it's a very lightweight, uh, the property is that it's lightweight. And then it is as, as an insulation for and light. So maybe pick up on to these properties working. Maybe there's a question, say, to design a award or to design a trophy. So most important would be, as I said, start generating forms, you know. So again, a shape could be a jade, could be. Okay, so for the awards and trophies, again, you have to think about the best form, which again, talking about what kind of an award it is, or what culture is it? Is it an Indian continent or there's some other continent for which you are working? Is it for sports? Is it for some gallantry award? What kind of an award is? It? So you have to think before you start generating the form for that award. Now, a few examples which I have for you is when we are doing the paper exploration, how a 2D paper is converted, understanding the property into three dimensional and how creative ability is assessed. Right. So these are basically, the, this is a something called test tessellation. See a lot of examples onto your Google, see how tessellations are done, how the same tile. Now on your right hand corner, it was just a strip of paper with that paper roll. We have tried to, you know, bring the spring kind of a quality into a paper. So try to do that, right? These are the works of few students. Uh, which learn under me in School of Creativity, where I am. So this is, again, you know, from your insects. So this is an interesting paper exploration where we teach students how to generate shapes and generate forms. So from an insect, you understand the texture, you understand what the complete uh, uh, biology of that insect is, then you try and they come out with a very interesting shapes and structures process. So this is how you have to be observant. You have to start innovating of what you see. So now, a few examples of wire, as I told you, you know, how a jute thing is combined with a, a newspaper print, how a circle, again, you know, a human figure is dancing. Now, this human figure, if you notice it on the left-hand side corner, there's a circle. And there's a ballet dancer, which is depicted in through a wire form. Now, if you see that the ballet dancer is just joined with a hand. So that means the ballet dancer can actually take a swirl. All right. So that's the kind of movement which we tried to capture through wire. Now, a very interesting thing on your right hand side, that's a copper wire and how you have tried to weave rather than just twisting and braiding and creating spirals, how you can use pencils or some rod and try to weave it and create a pattern now. Right? Now, when I talk about culture and subculture, there could be some question where you are supposed to do some packaging or you are, you are supposed to create a poster or something like that. Now, understand the culture. Now, immediately when I show you this image, what comes to your mind? Durga Puja, Havda Bridge, Calcutta, right? And the colors chosen are red and white. So, Durga Puja, jab hoti hai, this this red color, which is the Sindur color, is considered to be very auspicious in Bengal, right? So how you pick up the color schemes, how you do it, that's going to be, you know, your differentiator. Now, something like this, right? You have to say water, maybe 
preserve water, conserve water. How do you depict it? So these are the fonts or these are the type spaces, you know, through illustrations where you have to. Another thing which I would like to talk to you all is, I don't know in case if you all have studied psychology in 12, okay? In case you have, fair enough. In case you have not, try to study your gestalt principles. These are the theories of perception. Okay, so there are five principles which you should study and then these principles should be applied into the situational test and thereby when you are creating a story or when you are writing the details about what, what you've created, if you try to relate it with gestalt principles of perception, you again get that little extra brownie points which will make your uh, complete assessment a little above than the regular students. Now, if you say hi, the image which is in the middle, if you see it completely close, you will also see there's a visual illusion and you will find in between hi, there's a low written. This is exactly what I'm talking when you, I want you to all uh, go back and study the principles of perception, which are just called principles. Now, risk. Right through a rope, it's just one thread, but again, just one thread is joining it and how you retain risk. Right? Another key area, what I told you in the beginning, is that you have to look into the thematic appreciation test. Now, what is thematic appreciation test? This test was designed by Henry Murray and Christina Morgan, and these are the psychologists. So they give you a situation, you know, they'll give you a visual like this. Before start writing or before started to interpreting, right? Think on to these four questions that what is happening in this picture? What led up to the event? What are the characters thinking and feeling? And what will be the outcome of the story? Now, when I look up to this picture, the people are smoking, people are playing cards, you know, people are gambling, whatever. But then I also see that there's a little kid. Why is that little child there? You know, are we teaching the child to gamble or to play cards or to get into the smoking area? What are we trying to do? So, you know, you have to pick up that sensitive point and then bring it into the forefront and then try to bring a, or create a narrative out of it, you know. So the important thing to consider would be that this may re reveal what person's attitudes, beliefs, or expectations are, or there are some conflicts which are going on. What is the complete worldly view this group of people want to have, okay? Then there also have to be some empathetic. Design is all about others. It's a human-centric approach. So you have to have some empathy angle. When I say empathy, I mean there has to be some emotional tone of the story. Whether there's sadness, there's fear, there's anger, there's happiness. And you have to think from that point of view, not your point of view, right? So that is how empathy with a state of emotions is what you have to consider. Okay, so this is all from my side. And I would be rather now more taking you all for a question and answer round. In case you have any doubts, please feel free. So let us save these 15-20 minutes to ask you what your questions are and what your apprehensions are or any challenges or any difficulty you all are facing and you want me to help you with. Yes. Please tell me. You can write your questions or maybe somebody can take the questions and I'll be happy to help you all. <clears throat> Do we have any questions or we are all good? <clears throat> Okay, there's one, I think, Ishika. 
Ishika is asking, ma'am, how much time they give for the situation test? See, it depends, Ishika. Usually it's three hours, but then again, you know, they vary, they vary. For making one product, okay. Now for making one product, Ishika, you have to do your time management. It's not about them. Probably what you want to narrate and how beautifully you want to narrate, use the techniques, use the complete detailing, use, you have to finish it how you want to present it. That's how you have to manage your time pretty much well in advance, you know. So that's your take. Nobody will tell you that half an hour or 40 minutes or one hour to one question. So maybe individual to individual, you all have to decide how much time you want to give to one question. Ma'am, overall time. Overall time for what? For the complete situational test? It's roughly three hours. Okay. Any other question? Guys, please question. Ye best time hai aapka. Jo bhi aapke doubts hai, wo, aap definitely aap pe thoda clear out kar sakte ho. Agar puchne mein hesitation ho rahi, you can definitely uh, aap chat box usko dal sakte ho. Either you put it onto the chat box or you can directly message me. Whatever it is, you know, I'll be happy to answer and solve your queries. So one question, it, is it important to use each and every material given by the NIFT? Well, again, you know, that's a very interesting one. And usually children do get confused about which material to use and which material not to use. No, it is not important, right? Also remember students here, the, uh, the beauty is in the minimalism. When I say minimalism, it, I mean, you know, less is better. Okay, but how beautifully you put that less material into practice is what I want to see and what the other assessment jurors want to see. Okay. Uh, uh, I would also suggest that uh, though I know I'm flooding you with a lot of ideas, but then this is important, you know, try to get into the 21st century, uh, 20th century design and art movements. Understand those design and art movements, right? How surrealism came into practice, how crafts movement came into practice, what was Dadaism? Okay, all these things will help you. Try to try to just quickly go through those YouTube videos. You are not the design students, and it's not fair to push you all right now. But just you know, for the situational test to understand how everything evolved, it will be helpful. There's one more question, ma'am. Like, are there any yeah. certain concept names that might be foreign for us? What is that? Are there? No, I don't have this question. Can you just read me, please? Are there? Are, are there, there any certain concept uh, names that might be foreign for us? Concept names I've given you, I can't say it's a concept concept, you know, usually it's packaging, it's it's talking about your creative ability, or they'll ask you to create a trophy or design an award, or something where they are talking that, you know, this is, this is a, a person who is physically disabled, how will you create something for him or her? You know, these basic things on your own. But then as I told you, consider those five parameters. Talk about sustainability. Try to relate them with some Indian craft or Indian extinct practice. Try to give them, you know, the kind of uh, a new concept, a new innovation. 
So all these things will help you out. Maybe try to relate them with the 20th century art movements, which I just said. Okay, then one more question, ma'am. How important to make model functional? Well, depending on the, the question, not necessarily. See, this; these models are prototypes, right? These are mocks. This is not a, a prototype cannot be functional. Now, there would be, you know, you can, uh, you, you may be asked to write some description about it. You may be asked to make a spec sheet out of it, right? So in that part, now supposingly, say supposingly, I want to give you a question where you are, you are creating a model or a prototype in which technology is involved. How will you make it functional? It's just a prototype. Will they give you the access to technology? No. Okay. So functionality becomes secondary. But in the description, you do write that this will be, you know, with the uh, combination of technology, would be with combination of some application, would be with combination of the XYZ software, whatever. You know, so not necessarily the model has to be functional. No, it's a prototype. It's a dummy. A dummy cannot be real, right? So ma'am, we have one student, Anjana. She wants to ask, ma'am, I think my creativity is good enough sometimes. Like I cannot create anything new, how to deal with it? You cannot create something new? Yes. Okay, and who is the student? The student name is Anjana. Anjana, Anjana, first thing, ये दिमाग से निकाल दो कि हम कुछ कर नहीं सकते ये नेगेटिव थॉट ही लाओगे तो क्रिएटिविटी को आप हैमर करोगे डोंट डू दैट everybody everybody has that power to think differently okay so have that confidence secondly as i told you start thinking start imagining start dreaming be observant have that curious mind keep asking why 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 I started my uh, presentation and my talk for, by giving you this example, which abruptly came to my mind that I'm going for an evening walk and I see a mother carrying a pram in which a baby is sitting. Now, if I have to redesign that pram, what do I do problem So mother fold yeah, I can't hold space jada le le. Whatever, you know, these are just thinking aloud answers I'm giving. you. So then you try to pick up that problem and redesign it. That's how, you know, that's how you start running. I told you, bear to dream, think, ask questions, debate and make mistakes, correct? So that's how you start getting into the creative mode. Always it is why, how and what. Please remember, it's always about why, how, and what. Why should I do it if I'm doing it? Does not mean that I'm asking you to be rude or rowdy or, you know, uh, be indisciplined. No, but still ask yourself why, how, and what. Always have that curiosity. You'll come. I'm sure you will. Ma'am, one more question from Raj. Raj has already asked, I guess, two, three questions. So yeah. how important is write-up? What are the key points we should remember while writing? See, write-up again, Raj, it has to be brief, very crisp. Nobody has the time to read paragraphs. I'll be very honest, right? किसी के पास में इतने सारे सिचुएशन टेस्ट जब हमें चेक करने होते हैं हमारे पास टाइम नहीं होता कि हम पैराग्राफ वही पैराग्राफ करके उसको मॉडल को देखें और उससे रिलेट नो आई विल बी ऑनेस्ट विद यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स ऐसा नहीं होता है यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्रिस्प you have to be very to द पॉइंट यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट यू नो हाउ यू आर मेकिंग इट व्हाट आर द टेक्निक्स why you have chosen this material, why you think this material in whatever problem or the situation or the question you were given, why, why did you think this material is very good? What is that different thing which you've tried to work onto the property of that material? So the complete story will 
give you brownie points. Try to be as crisp as possible and to the point as much as possible. Do use words of sustainability. Do use words of creating an impact. Do use words by doing this. We want to solve this. You know, so we want to see the broader creative ability of yours. If you are doing this, then what are you doing on which line? Kar rahe ho, right? Right? Please don't write paragraphs. No, don't write that. I think there was one question which came directly to me is, uh, Disha, if I made a model which kind of offends the examiner or the one who decides the marks, but my model is based on society's opinion, in such a situation, am I supposed to think about the impression of the one who decide marks or my idea? Disha, no, no examiner gets offended. See, when you're talking about solving some society and you specially mentioned about society, try to be a little sensitive. That's all. Okay. Now, society may supposingly aap kisi religion ki, for example. If I am talking about society, try to be very, very sensitive towards religion. Try to be very, very empathetic towards the needs of people. There should be no divide. Divide, when I say there should be no divide of rural and urban, poor and rich. You know, ye thoda sa sensitive angle leke aapko chalna padta hai. Design is all about idea. My very first talk. It's not right or wrong. But then at times we have to be sensitive. Right? When you are trying to create some impact for the society, then the, the, the model or the solution or the, uh, the prototype what you are creating, it should clearly define as what problem is it or what research gap it is trying to solve rather than you know pinpointing at a particular group or a particular strata. No, that should be avoided. Right? We have one question, ma'am, from Abhinav. Ma'am, how can we practice audio-visual test? Audio-visual test, Abhinav, there are a lot of uh, these things, especially when you are preparing for your IELTS, right? Try to be there. It's difficult to gauge, but kai bar audio-visual tests aapke online available hote hain. Uh, say, supposingly, you know you when you are sitting for SAT exams, you will find some. When you're sitting for IELTS exam, you will find some. Then there are certain psychological tests which are audiovisual and are available online and they're free of course. So kindly go through those. Any other question? I don't think so, ma'am. So now I want to say something to the students. Uh, like this is my request or I will definitely insist everyone do visit the website. And I know now we are situation test ke preparation kar rahe hai, and we really want to, you know, make it BNID or NIFT or the your dream colleges or university. But as for me, like I'm a like counselor, I would say manager by like by designation or position, but I do counsel a lot of students. So I always suggest them always have a plan A, plan B, plan C. You should always have some backup plan. So not in terms of college or the university, in terms of courses or specializations as well. I know abhi Amara's focus is very clear hai towards the NID or NEFT or the uh, uh, your dream college's entrance examination. But please do consider other colleges as well. Rishiwood is one of them. Like uh, we do have the design program with us as I have already mentioned in the beginning. So we have like, you know, four specialization, product design, the, communication design, interior architecture, 
architecture design and fashion textile design so any student if you are having any doubt related to the design or creativity or academic or maybe uh, regarding the admission admission process and everything so i have mentioned my numbers and details in the chat box do connect with me or ma'am i have already shared some of the link where you can uh, you know visit and have some you know details about the program and details about the mashur university and from my side all the very best for your situation test ma'am uh, if you want to add something all the very best students and listening to priyanka see i understand you all are uh, you know aspiring for nift and nid but uh, being a product of nift and then going outside uh, understanding the scenario uh it is very good in case you get through nept no doubts on that right and maybe sometimes i may come take your jury uh i really look forward to but again you know design uh is something and this is what i always tell the parents and the students choose your journey in a manner where design is taught to you like the way design should be taught right i was fortunate i told you when i started my design journey in early 80s you were not even born i was very fortunate because the kind of professors i had you know and that's the reason i am where i am aaj ki date mein please don't take me wrong aaj ki date mein i have seen that there the complete delivery of design education is diluted and it hurts me a lot right design as i said is all about the individual design is one to one okay what, what i am thinking what you think maybe okay okay what the shy is thinking i'm sorry i'm just picking what the names i'm seeing here what the shy is thinking and what anjana is thinking could be different and is bound to be different so the way i will teach to disha might be different from the way i deal with anjana kyunki uska concept alag hai right so design may successful hone ke liye ye bahut zaruri hota hai ki design ko padhaya kaise ja raha hai design is not like mathematics or physics or history or geography or your bba or your mba or your psychology no design is one to one okay <coughs> you have to a professor has to sit with the student to understand what the student is talking about what the concept of that student is a professor again has to sit with the second student fine there is a design process what we call as design thinking which is common but how do you apply that process will vary okay which i see you know they just teach you the process they'll give you a project brief now you do it it doesn't happen that way and that's 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 the irony you know what majority of the design schools are undergoing nift opening 19 centers where are the faculties where are the faculties who is going to teach anyways this debate will go will go on but then you know i'll be very happy to help you all irrespective where you are i am the dean school of creativity kindly be in touch with me for whatever help you want i'll be more than happy to help you all and wish you a very very successful design career welcome to the design fraternity hope to see you all very soon all the very best guys so this is it we'll see you soon maybe in campus and we focus on your examination bye take care good night everyone